Hi everyone, welcome to HD Piano. Joe here with the return. The return of the Mac. This is Mark Morrison's Return of the Mac. Can't believe I'm playing this on a piano. I feel like I'm about 14 years old again. And this is the intro, verse, pre chorus, and chorus. This is the whole thing, basically. It goes like this one, two, three, four. Now that's all I'm going to show you because that is it basically, it then just repeats the sections which you'll see in the whole song, which is our only other video to accompany this. But before we do, there's middle C, this is written in the key of A minor, so zero sharps or flats. And a quick question for everyone, Mark Morrison had his fair share of run-ins with the law. In fact, I could only actually remember one of them, but it turns out he probably had over four or five custodial sentences served out to him, and one of which, the famous one, was for letting a body double attend his community service, which if you're not sure what that is, it's basically the equivalent of getting someone else to do your time for you. That begs the question, which other musicians do you know of that have had run into the law that have resulted in custodial sentences? And I mean that have resulted in them doing time, then getting slammed behind bars for a period of time. It can be for a long time if it's serious or a short amount of time if it's not. That's up to you. But which musicians do you know of that have spent time behind bars? Now, the introduction, okay, is what we start off with, then the verse, pre-chorus, then the chorus. The intro goes like this. One, and, a uh, two, e, and, three, and, four. That is, one, and, a uh, two, e, and, three, and. All nice and detached, so all nice and staccato. One, and, a uh, two, E, and, three, and. With the left hand. Like that, at speed. Like that. Slowing down. Four. One, two, three, four. And all you're playing down here is C major seven second inversion, five major seven root. Oh, pardon me. And then to F major seven root position on beat three and. One and one and two. Like that, okay? And that's it, that's the intro. Last time. And you actually do that four times. There's two bars per phrase, and you do that phrase four times, and that is your introduction. It comes, a bit like back, comes back later on in the form of a breakdown, which for those of you that really want to recreate the performance can whisper what the woman in the video starts whispering to Mark Morrison whilst he sort of makes strange noises. It is all very, very weird. Anyway, then we come down to our verse pre-chorus. Now this is just the piano that's in the background, actually. It's really quite pretty. We play A minor nine, seven, nine, three, five. So A minor rootless, and there's the root down there. And we go one E and a two E and. Like that, let's slow that down a bit. But first of all, on beat one, we've got our A root seven nine three five and then beat one e and uh all we do is change the bass note with the finger four to e one e and uh and then on beat two and two and we play d minor seven root three five seven and nine as well there's a minor nine to d minor nine one e and uh two e and 
three, and four. Back again with an E. And that's the loop. One, E, and a, two, E, and three, and four. And this is all slightly more sustained. Now I'm just repeating these bars over and over again. You only actually play two of them because the third one has a slightly different ending. I'll show you that one now after two more of these. One, E, and a, two, E, and three, and four. One, E, and a, two, E, and three, and four. Now the third one. You go like this. Four and one E. Okay, like that. So, one E and a two E and three and four and... And that finger five at the bottom of that fifth of G is extremely important because it allows you to go up like that in the next bar. So I'll show you those two bars together. One E and a two E and three. So the left right hand's the same in bar four, just another A minor nine rootless, the D minor nine rootless. Rootless, by the way, just means the root note is not there. Sorry for stating the obvious. And then the left hand, one and two and three, four and down to a finger two on G. That's how you must end that section. So four and one. Like that. Again. I'm just playing it on repeat. Now, you do I'll just do it one more time, I'll show you how it loops around. So you go four and one, three, four, and like that. Back in like that. One more time and I'll show you the next bit. Then, so, we start off with this A minus sus4, <clears throat> we've got root 4, 7, A minus 7 sus4, and we go 1 E and a 2 E and, like that. That's pretty much all of this apart from one bar. So A minus 7 sus4, E and 1 E and a 2 E and then you can tickle that C with finger two. A one E and a two E and whilst you're moving down to get to D minor seven, root three seven, sorry, five seven. One E and a two E and like that. And the way you get back up is you go and on beat four and play E and C like that. You might as well use finger two. You can use something different if you want, but I was finding finger two and finger four were working for me. So one E and a two E and three, four and one E and a two E and three, four, one E and a two E and three, four. And you do that three times. And then the third time, just like in the previous verse pre-chorus section, I'll do it first third time you do something different. So this is the second time. And then third time involves a G fifth again. Pardon me, I said the rhythm wrong there, but you go four and like that. Now I'm going to slow right down to show you that. Let's just do the left hand again. It's exactly the same as the end of our verse pre-chorus. We've just got that sort of climb up. So fifth, A, C, E, D, using finger four, two, one, and then two. Four, two, one, two, three, four, and. Four, and one, two, three, four. Like that. Now what's the right hand doing? The right hand comes in a beat four, and. Four, and, one, E, and, a, two, E, and. And that is quick at proper speed. Two, three, four, like that. So you have to relax your hand quite a lot, and what you're actually doing is you're going, and, 
one and a two E and. And I thought about the fingering for that, that's the best I came up with. And one and a two E and. Going even slower. And one and a two E and. And one and a two E and. Do that on a loop for a long time because that is the hardest bit of this by quite some margin. Okay, and just like you've been doing the other sections, you come back round this time with that. Okay. And do it again. And then another section will start, depending on the order, which you'll see in the whole song video, which is coming straight after this. So, should we do it all again, in the spirit of Mark Morrison? Yes, we should. We will return to the original arrangement, whilst he returns to the Mac. Here we go. Three, four. Now, when I originally heard we were going to be doing Return of the Map by Mark Morrison, I was pleased, but also a little surprised because this is not the sort of song that I thought would sound good on the piano. But hats off to our arranger, Seth, who I actually think has done an incredibly good job, especially on the chorus, because when I first saw that, I was like, whoa, what's going on there? But actually, that makes a lot of sense. Mark Morrison would be proud wherever he is. Wormwood Scrubs, no, no, I'm sure he's not in prison anymore, but wherever he is, he'll be proud. So... Shout out to you, Seth. Shout out to you, Mark. Shout out to the Mac, whoever the Mac is. This has been Joe, HD Piano. If you're on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe, then head on over to our website, hdpiano.com, for the remaining parts, of which there are none. Just a whole song. So I'll see you there. Bye for now.